In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove items from your still images inside of Adobe Photoshop 2024. So let's get into it. So there's multiple different ways that we can approach this. And the first option is to go down the clone stamp tool option. Now this is the traditional route before generative fill became an option. So let me show you how to do that. So in order to use the clone stamp tool, we want to hover over to the bar on the left and we're looking for this, which is the clone stamp tool. And as you can see, we get this brush up here and this is just a normal brush. So we can control the size of this and the hardness of this by just adjusting the brush values up here. Now for the clone stamp tool, I would generally keep this on the lower hardness level just because it's going to help to blend this off a lot better. If it's a hard edge, then it's going to be very visible. So I'm going to keep this at 0%. I'm going to increase the size to around 200. And this is what we have. Now, let's say I want to get rid of some of these pegs up in the top right of the frame. Now, this is where the clone stamp tool comes in really handy because the clone stamp tool is essentially taking one part of the frame and pasting it in elsewhere. So because we've got this solid wall color here, I'm just going to hold option on the keyboard. And this is basically me selecting which part of the frame I'm going to steal. So I'm going to take this section up here. So left click on the mouse, release the option button. And then if I move over and now I paint over this, you can see we've got this plus on the left and we've got the brush on the right. So the plus is where this is being taken from and the brush is obviously the brush. So you can see if I go all the way down, it's going to start to copy this board here. That's not what we want here. So I'm just going to copy it again. I'm going to draw this in. And as you can see, that's done a pretty good job. But if we go in really far, you can see the light changes a little bit. So I could just increase the size of the brush. And I'm just going to blend that off a little bit more. And that looks pretty convincing. So we've removed that by just using the clone stamp tool. And the clone stamp tool is really powerful. Of course, you don't just have to use the clone stamp tool for removing something in Photoshop. You could create copies. So if I wanted to add my face in again, for whatever reason you would want to do that, you would just hold option over the face and then just paste that in elsewhere. So it's a really cool and interesting technique. However, in 2023, Photoshop introduced a new AI feature called Generative Fill. And this is an absolute game changer for removing stuff like this. So rather than going through the process of doing the clone stamp tool, instead, we can just go into this option here, which is going to be the selection tool. So we're basically just going to the polygonal lasso tool. Let's start off really simple. So let's go for one of these pegs again. So I'm just going to draw the mask around this peg here or this hook and generative fill will pop up. So we're going to select that and we can just type remove and we're going to press generate and Photoshop is just going to take a very quick second to figure out what it is doing. And then there you go. You can see we've been given three different options. Now they're all really good options, but if either one of those were not good and it didn't look quite right, then you can just press generate again, but I'm happy with that. And as you can see, if we look in the bottom right, if I turn that on and off again, you can see what it has done. So it's really powerful, but let's go for something a little bit more complicated. This is really easy because it's in a dark corner and it's not really where the eye is being led to. However, let's say I wanted to remove this BF. Now I would just go through the exact same process and so make sure the background layer is selected and then just draw a mask around what you want to remove. So as you can see, it can mess up quite a lot here. You can see it's very close to my face. It's close to the computer screen. There's a lot that can go wrong. So let's try this again. Let's go for remove, press generate. And there we go. You can see the first generation, not really good. The second one absolutely knocks it out of the park. The second one is brilliant. And the third one is also good as well. But you can see there's a bit of cable here, which we could clean up with the clone stamp tool, but there's no need because it's done a brilliant job on number two. Like I said before, if it didn't do a good job and all three of your options looked a bit like this, then you would just select generate again and you would just repeat this process until you are happy. So if I zoom back out, you can see that this was the before and this was the after. So you could remove things from your frame using the clone stamp tool or alternatively, if you update your Photoshop to one of the latest versions, then you can use the generative fill option. Like I said, though, this is a fairly new feature. So if you've got Photoshop 22, 21, 20, you're not going to see this option. So make sure you do an update to your software and this will give you that option. There's one really quick and easy way to tell if you've got the latest version. And then it's just to go to the mask tool up here, 
draw a mask and if generative fill pops up you've got it if it doesn't pop up you haven't got it it's as simple as that and if you don't then all you need to do is just go into your adobe creative cloud and just do an update so you go into your apps go into updates and then you can do an update here as you can see i have got a new update that i need to do but it's new enough for me that I have got the generative fill option. So there you go. That is how you remove objects from your still images inside of Adobe Photoshop using the clone stamp tool and the generative fill option. Both are really great options at doing this. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.